started teaching yoga while I was a school teacher. I was an elementary school teacher for eight years. I taught mostly third graders. And during that time, I worked in Title I schools, and that's where the majority of the students are below the poverty line. And I would go back and forth to school highly stressed. And so I knew that I needed to dig deeper into my yoga practice. I started to just notice how it was impacting me and how I showed up for the children. So the wheel started turning and I said to myself, what would happen if I started introducing some of these techniques when it came to breathing and being in our bodies more? How would that impact the children? And it did. <laughs> Not only did I notice that the children were more focused and more excited about coming to school, but they also started to treat each other with a lot more kindness. It was something about the ways in which they understood mindfulness and how they had to be clear on every decision that they made and how they treated their friends that sometimes you would hear them go back to their yoga practice and say, you know, maybe I can take some time to think about that. And so it was really the children who let me know that it was worth Working because they asked for it and if we know children they do not beat around the bush about the things that they need and so I knew that yoga was essential in our classroom. When I talk about yoga being used as a tool to dismantle systemic ways that we experience oppression in this lifetime it is often met with a lot of curiosity and I always remind people that when you're drawn to spaces that practice yoga or you're drawn to this practice of yoga, to me, there has to be some type of longing for connection and some type of longing for truth and for love, essentially. And I can't see any better way in any other communities that are very deliberate about cultivating love and connection and community outside of yoga spaces. And so to me, when we think about inequity and inequality and really building bridges between communities that may have never experienced each other before. I think that yoga is this tool that can unite us in this one thing that we do have in common and that's the breath and at the root of it for me is love and so yoga has been this tool that I've used to articulate how we can actually work together in community to understand and celebrate our unique differences in order to come together.